voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Okay, I'm gonna start another blog. You know, it's about how these feminists are creating this petition to get rid of <laughs> GTA 5 from certain stores such as Kmart and Target. And in Australia, um, Kmart and Target have decided to remove GTA 5 from the stores. They cave in to the feminist brigade. And all I have to say is FUCK! These fucking cunt bags! Fuck them! I mean, for fuck's sakes, these fucking cuddly douchebags, these, ah, uh, ah, uh, these people have some fucking issues, They're, these people are trying to censor a video game just because they do not like it, like, if you do not like a certain video game, then perhaps maybe you should avoid it. But instead, what do you have to do? Create this fucking petition to get rid of the game in certain fucking stores because you and your rest of the fucking SAW brigade find the, vi find the video game to be not only offensive, but also sexist towards women because... Guess what? You get to kill a fucking hooker in a video game. Holy fucking shit. GTA 5. It's nothing more than a fucking video game. And you want to ban it because... Jesus fucking Christ. My anger for this is completely unstable. I mean, holy fucking shit. These cackly cunt bags cannot handle a simple video game, and it must be banned. And the funny thing is, the likes of Jonathan McIntosh, yeah, you know, the retard fool McIntosh, he says it's not censorship. Even if the entire world decides to ban GTA 5. It, it, it's it's not a form of censorship. Like, you people are fucking nuts. If this was if there was a petition to get rid of a certain game that feminists really love, then the, the feminists would go balls off the walls. To they, they would demand these men to have their penises to be chopped off and served on a silver platter for. Opposing such a beautiful and wonderful game. This feminazis are totally fucking evil. Yeah, you don't want to take away our video games. You just want video games to fake your own fucking ego. You fucking cuddly cutbacks. I've cursed way too many times in this video. I need to calm down. I need to calm the fuck down. My, I'm about to lose my throat, my, my, my voice. Just, you know, yelling about the amount of stupidity that this is. It's incredible. Like, no. We, as a group of gamers, you know, as a group, we, we shouldn't be uh, dictated on what video games that we should or shouldn't play. Like, if these feminists can ban GTA 5, what's to stop them from banning other video games that they do not like? What's to stop them from banning Bioshock or, um, let's see. 
um, Assassin's Creed, Pokemon, any game that these women do not find to be acceptable in their own fucking egos. I mean, what's to stop them? If they continue doing this, they'll eventually control everything. And that's bad. That's extremely bad. We cannot let this happen. We need to stand up to these feminazi cuntbags and tell them that they are nothing more than evil scumbags for trying to censor a video game that they do not like. Here's an idea. If you don't want to buy GTA 5 for Christmas, then perhaps you should buy another game. You know, buy a game that's kid-friendly, like Skylanders. Yeah, that's a good game, Skylanders. Whatever which one, I don't care. You know, Skylanders or uh, maybe Little Big Planet. That's a very friendly kids. It is a friendly kids game. Get that game, okay? But don't dictate on which video game should be put into fucking stores. Hmm. <sighs> I am really tired of this feminist bullshit. Someone famous, I don't care who, you know, it could be Will Smith or, I don't know, John Codd Van Dam or Melissa McCarthy, anyone, any celebrity. If there's any celebrity that can wage a war against feminism. Start a campaign that says that feminism is nothing more than a toxic environment that is, you know, full of toxicity, that's trying to poison everything that we hold dear. I would be 100% behind you, okay? <laughs> because this cannot go on much longer. We need to put our foot down and just speak up. Okay? This is why I'm in support of Gamergate. Because people from Australia, these these feminazis should not even be walking among this planet. At this rate, it should be illegal to be a feminist. You start calling yourself a feminist, you should lose the right to even call yourself human. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.